the religious organizations were very uh, crucial at that time. Uh, and I'm speaking about the Catholic Church at that time uh, and the Protestant Church also uh, in Timor. They played a very important role because these are the only, were the only organization that people trust and, and that people can go and, uh, and complain uh, what happened to them. And, and these are the institutions that uh, spoke about human rights violation in, in Timor-Leste. And, and these were the credible organizations that the world can listen to. Uh, so they play a very important role um, right in the beginning to the end. Um, so there's no, uh, in Timor at that time, there's no any single day that people didn't complain their difficulties to the church. And there's no, um, and not any moment that the church didn't speak out about human rights uh, situation there. Well, the Indonesian government uh, was not happy at that time with the church uh, because um, uh, the Indonesians in, since 1975 up to 1983 uh, uh, um, basically closed uh, Timor Leste to the world. I mean, they didn't want to have any information out of Timor Leste about what happened there. And when they, the church began to speak out of, of the situation there, then it was a problem for the Indonesians. So they were not happy with the Indonesians. And I think um, the, the reason why the Indonesian government invited uh, Pope John Paul II to visit Timor Leste uh, in 1986 was to tell the world basically, that nothing happened in Timor-Leste. Uh, but it was um, for Timor-Leste, resistance movement was also a window of, of opportunity for us to tell the world uh, of what happened uh, in Timor-Leste at that time.